Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today I'm cutting the small talk and getting right in to this Rebecca Creek double oak Spanish finished. Um, it's one I've been waiting for and I need to give a shout out to Mr. Great Shot. For helping me get this and I appreciate it. Um, Rebecca Creek double barrel Spanish oak and this is barrel number 20-0090, bottle number 17, 61.5% ABV, ABV, which is 123 proof. The grain bill is 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% two-row malted barley. Uh, it's aged up to four years in Spanish oak barrels and then two years in second second turn American oak barrels. Um, one question I had, which I did write down some notes is, um, what is two row barley? Um, it produces only a single fertilized seed at each seed point or node on their flowering heads, alternating at each node, resulting in two rows, two row barley, having two rows of seed along its length. What does that mean? Don't know. But it was interesting to find out, so I wanted to share that. Maybe I'll look into it a little bit later and um, see exactly what those specifics are but it sounds pretty special for this now um like i said i'm excited it's been opened if you hear the chickens in the background they want some too so uh that's after the video goes off if you notice this is dark this is dark and it coats the glass um it has really nice legs holding onto the glass it's not dripping um it is really nice i'm gonna switch this around here last video i almost dropped the glass so i needed to figure that one out so i'm gonna go on for the nose i'm not gonna waste time on this one um, i want to see if this one is as good as everybody says i have my opinions i have been into it but it has been open for a couple of days so I want to see if my opinion changes. So here we go on the nose. So right off the bat, um, you get a sweetness, and you get the oak, and um, you get a nice little bit of rye spice coming through on the nose. Um, it smells sweet. It smells thick, like there's a lot going on, which if you look at it, it is thick. Um, love the color, I love the darkness of the color. It does not, does not smell like a six year bourbon. Um, sometimes when you get the younger bourbons for six years, you can get that strong ethanol note. Um, you can get a little bit of sting on it. You do not get that with this one. It's one thing I liked about that. You can give a little swirl. I'm going to go in for a taste. Right off the bat, I get a lot of rye on that. I get rye. I get the barrel. I get vanilla. Um, molasses. Um, it's thick. It coats the palate. Really nice. The finish, the finish is nice. It's a, it's a medium to long finish. Um, sweet. You do get the barrel. You get the sweetness, like like molasses and sugar. Um, you get the rye spices. The sun decided to come out while I was doing this. It's been behind the clouds all day, and that's all right. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, you can see, I can see, I don't know if you can in the camera, 
This just coats the glass from top to bottom. You get that molasses, you get brown sugar, you get um, vanilla, you get a little bit of chocolate, um, maybe some coffee. Maybe some coffee. Um, there's This tastes better today than when I opened the bottle up a couple of days ago. I have, I've got to say that this seems to have opened up and become much sweeter. Um, you need a little bit more spice. And there's just nothing wrong with it. This is really good. Unfortunately, it is limited edition. And here in Talk Around the Neighborhood, they are actually down to their last barrel or two if they are not out completely. So this may not be around very much longer or until it comes back. But um, if you see it, and the batches are about the same, like I said, this one's 123 proof, um, I would definitely, definitely recommend picking this one up. Most people love it. Some people don't like it. It's not for some people's taste. Um, it is a Texas whiskey. But what I would say is it doesn't drink like a Texas whiskey. Um, I have Balcones. This is completely different than Balcones. Um, I love Balcones and I'm loving this Rebecca Creek, but it drinks different than most Texas whiskeys. That, that's all I can say. If you've had tes Texas whiskeys and you try this, you're going to understand what I'm saying. It doesn't have that Texas funk which a lot of people like and dislike um, but at the same time some people like and dislike this one it's gonna be up to you me personally I think this one's a hit and when they re-release it I think you should try it hey if you like this subscribe to the page hit the notifications hit the like button and put some comments in um, it really does help and um, I'd love to have you guys as a subscriber we have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page, you can join. We're building a community here. And um, it's a community of bourbon drinkers where you can get together, talk, socialize, and um, maybe even trade some trade secrets. All right, I have a live to do tonight, so I have to get ready for that. May the 4th be with you, and um, have a great day. See you guys soon. Cheers. Man, that's good.